An electric coil, acting like a carelessly dropped cigarette, is heating this upholstered cushion, causing smoldering. Smoldering is slow combustion, taking place on the fuel's surface. Smoke is present without flame. Smoldering can sometimes go on for hours before developing into flaming combustion. Although smoke develops slowly in this phase, given enough time, it can fill a structure and kill occupants before any significant flaming is present. The fire is now progressing into the flame-producing stage. Flaming combustion can only occur when the necessary quantities of heat, fuel, and oxygen are present. Right now, we have a small flame. It is rapidly progressing into a substantial fire. As we noted earlier, the heat from the fire is producing combustible and toxic gases from the burning chair. A smoke detector has been placed just outside the room. The fire has now given off enough smoke to activate the alarm, telling occupants to make an immediate escape. The buoyant nature of the gases released from the burning chair causes the flame to spread upward. Heat from the rising flames quickly ignites the draperies en route to the ceiling. The temperature at the ceiling above the chair is now 570 degrees Fahrenheit, 300 degrees Celsius. If a residential sprinkler had been placed eight feet diagonally from the corner, it would now activate, sounding an alarm and discharging water. Fire damage would be confined to the chair and curtains. The buildup of smoke and its toxic gases has now thickened into a hot, dense cloud in only 70 seconds since the first appearance of flame. This mushrooming cloud of hot, thick smoke and gas begins to act like a space heater, radiating heat downward. The paint and wall finishes, the furniture, paper, fabric, wood, and plastics in the room are beginning to decompose from the blistering heat. And as they decompose, they contribute to the buildup of toxic and flammable gases. The smoke level continues to descend and is now four feet above the floor. The temperature at the floor has reached 212 degrees Fahrenheit the boiling point of water. The huge quantities of smoke have now almost filled the room. The flow of hot air and radiant heat from the layer of smoke have combined to raise the temperature of everything in the room. The carpeting and other furnishings are now so hot that they are ready to burst into flame. And then, flash over. Every flammable object in the room has almost instantaneously ignited. The combustible gases from the decomposing furniture are being consumed by fire. The room itself is an inferno. From a tiny flame on a chair to a room totally involved in fire took only two minutes. Carbon monoxide and other toxic fumes are now being generated in tremendous quantities. The temperature inside the room is 1400 degrees Fahrenheit, 760 degrees Celsius. A room that flashes over becomes like a furnace unable to contain the heat it is generating, unleashing incredible flame, heat, and toxic gases throughout a building. 